The Dallas Cowboys, 28. Your Kansas City Chiefs, 17. In a game where the Kansas City Chiefs got out muscled, got out pushed, basically got out manned. The Kansas City Chiefs defense came into this game ranked 30th. I think they're probably going to stay about at 30th. Chiefs fall to 6-3. and three, And they go to their bye. Still with the commanding lead on the AFC West. But there's still a bad taste in many Chiefs fans' mouths. Myself included. The Chiefs haven't won in Dallas since 1975. I was five years old. I was in kindergarten, I don't remember. My dad said I had to go to bed before the game ended. Mike Livingston was able to beat Roger Staubach and the Dallas Cowboys, but we're not talking 1975. We're talking 2017 and where the Kansas City Chiefs currently stand. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kansas City Chiefs spent the first six weeks of the season as the best team in the National Football League, playing pretty damn good football. But there's a lot of things that are happening now that's leaving a scratch in our heads. One, as I mentioned, the Chiefs have the 30th ranked defense in the NFL. Can't stop anybody. Let's look at today's game. Both teams are kind of feeling out each other. Both teams punted twice. It was a shame the Chiefs offense was stagnant, and I'll get to the offense, trust me. But it was definitely the Chiefs put themselves in a situation to do something on offense because the defense at least held the Cowboys the first two plays. But the offense didn't do crap. Couldn't do it couldn't get anything going. Kareem Hunt had eight yards rushing at halftime. Finally, the Cowboys scored two offensive touchdowns. The Chiefs got three, and with two seconds left, the Chiefs made an awesome fluke play for a touchdown. Cowboys in total prevent mode. Dump it off to Tyreek Hill, followed his blockers, and worked some sweet Tyreek Hill action. Chiefs are back in the game on a freaking play that really shouldn't have happened, but we'll take it. It was awesome. Are you kidding me? The Chiefs open up the second half on offense. Drive down the field on a beautiful drive. Kareem Hunt had his longest drive of rush of the game, had a 19-yard run. The Chiefs were making plays. Third and goal to two. Alex Smith, a beautiful throw to Kelsey. Grab the lead. Chiefs got the momentum. The touchdown celebration was funny. It was awesome. I dug it. Potato sack run. We had all the momentum. But then the defense laid down and showed that they're the 30th ranked defense. Uh, going forward, you know, for, through this season, for the 2017 season, I look for the Kansas City Chiefs to win this division at either 9-7 and seven or 10-6. and six. It could be 10-6 and six because a lot of the Chiefs' opponents, I mean, when you look at the second half of the season, the Chiefs play a lot of bad teams. They play a lot of bad teams. But I do not see the Chiefs. This smells like one and done. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a hater. People say you're a hater because you're predicting one and done. But it just looks like it. Stats don't lie. If the Chiefs lost tonight's today's game, but we were the 15th ranked defense and we played like a 15th ranked defense and we look like we could be a 15th or 16th ranked defense, I would be optimistic of what the Chiefs could do in January. But the way that the Cowboys dominated, the way the Broncos dominated on the ground, the way the Steelers dominated, the Chiefs do not seem to be to elevate their game on the defensive side of the football. And that's a shame. That is really a shame. We're, we need to open our eyes to see where this team will be the second half of the season. We got two weeks off. We got two weeks off until we play the one and eight or one and seven Giants. They suck. So how are we going to be able to gauge the Chiefs then against a terrible New York Giants team? Then the Chiefs come back home and play the Buffalo Bills, who are a good team. The Bills were having a good. They were five and two before losing Thursday night against the Giants. Then the Chiefs go back to New York to play the Jets, who are another not very good team. So the next three games after the bye, it's going to be hard to gauge where the Chiefs truly are as a defense. 
it's going to be hard to – let's get back to this uh, another picture. Let's go to the offensive side of the football. For some freaking reason, Bryant Wheatsman continues to run at left guard, and he continues to suck at left guard. Kareem Hunt hasn't done shit since the first half of the Oakland Raider game. Is he hitting his rookie wall? Kareem Hunt has – is he hitting that rookie proverbial or whatever they call it wall? My God, he hasn't looked the same, folks. Kareem Hunt does not look the same. The Chiefs may be in trouble. I'm a diehard. I'll be at the Buffalo Bills game in three weeks, but we still got to get to uh, the bye week. The Chiefs need to make some changes on defense. Frank Zombo today had his first sack of the season. It's pretty sad when you have to have Zombo get a sack when uh, nobody else can get a sack. Kenneth Acker is the second corner now. He looked lost in his own cover. He looks lost in zone coverage on the Cowboys' first touchdown drive. Definitely concerned. Yes, yeah, yes, the Chiefs are six and three, have a three-game lead in the AFC West, and three more wins for the Chiefs should lock up the AFC West. I don't see freaking Denver. The Chargers, they suck. The Raiders are having a terrible year. I still don't know how we lost that game. It sucks that we lost this game, folks. It sucks that we lost this game. Alex Smith threw his first interception. I don't blame him, but we saw a lot of Alex Smith tendencies in the first half of this game that we've seen for the past five years. Well, four years before this season. This season, he's had a good season in some games. But Alex Smith is not playing at a high level the last two games. Carson Wentz took that freaking Bronco defense, stood tall in the pocket, and as a Philadelphia Eagle, Carson Wentz shredded the number one defense. How did Alex Smith do? Not very good. You know I love Patrick Mahomes. We, You know that Patrick Mahomes is going to take the Kansas City Chiefs to numerous Super Bowls. Uh, he's not going to play, so I gave up on that. But when you look at Carson Wentz, there's hope to see, wow, that's a top 10 quarterback standing tall in the pocket. Against the Denver Bronco defense, not afraid to throw the ball in between tiny holes, not getting happy feet. That's what the Chiefs will have with Patrick Mahomes. It just sucks that we got to wait. We got to wait for Alex Smith to uh, get out of here, but he's having a great season. The Chiefs look like a team that can win the division. Because the division sucks so bad, we're not getting a bye. The Chiefs will not get a bye. They will be facing either the Titans or or the Jacksonville Jaguars in January at Arrowhead, the first round of the playoffs, because the Steelers and Patriots are going to wrap up that freaking bye week faster. And you can say, shit, what happened to the Kansas City Chiefs 2017 season? But we're going to we're gonna cheer hard for them. We're going to hope that they do good. We're going to hope that somehow, by some miracle, that they can change schemes, get players in the right direction, so they can come from the 30th-ranked defense to maybe the 20th. It just smells... It just smells like one and done. Trust me, I was a season ticket holder from 1991 to 2011. I know what one and done smells like. And this smells like a one and done. Who's the ch- who's going to be the chief second corner? Is it going to be Kenneth Acker or Terrence Mitchell? Parker Erringer has dressed the last five weeks and stood there waiting to be put in at left guard. But nope, Andy Reid's got this freaking hard on to keep Bryant Wheatsman in there at left guard. He sucks. But Andy Reid wants to keep calling the shots. He's an awesome coach. To add insult to injury, 19 seconds left in today's game. Andy Reid wasn't even looking at the hell was going on on the field. He got his ass knocked down by a, a Dallas Cowboy tackler trying to get Charkandrick West out of bounds. So Andy Reid had to pick himself off, pick himself up back up off the Cowboy turf. Very disconcerting, Andy. Tony Roma didn't know if it was either you or the fake Andy Reid. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kansas City Chiefs fans worldwide of all ages, the Kansas City Chiefs are not the best team in the National Football League, as we were four weeks ago. The Kansas City Chiefs are pretty much in the middle of the road. Yeah, 6-3, and three, our division sucks. We're just going to ride it out, and we're going to hope by some miracle that we can win the division, which won't take a miracle. We're going to hope by some chance that we can beat, go on the road and play the Steelers and the Patriots on the road and see if we can do good. But this is Alex Smith's last year as a Kansas City Chief. I don't care what Kevin Keatsman says. I don't care what any any Chiefs fan says. It smells like it. 
The Chiefs need to rebuild this defense, and they need to trade Alex Smith in the offseason for any draft pick, any defensive player, anybody that can turn this defense around because the Chiefs don't have a number one draft pick in next year's draft. And they need a slew of changes. Derek Johnson's got to get off the field. He's old. Put in Raglan and Rameek Wilson. I don't care what anybody else says. I love you, DJ, but your foot's your foot behind, your step behind. It's time to go to Raglan. Tom Bahali came in today. It was nice to see him play inspired football, but he's in his 12th season. Chiefs need to rehaul this defense. They could have won tonight's game, but they did not turn it around on defense. They couldn't get the Cowboys off the freaking field, man. We just got the touchdown. We got ahead in the game. We just got all the momentum. And what does the Chiefs defense do? They lay fucking down. Disheartening. Bullshit. You got to come back and play some inspired football. You can't let the freaking Cowboys just dominate, go along down the field, touchdown. Another Chiefs go three and out. Next play, Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys long stain drive down the field, touchdown. Unacceptable. Fucking Bob Sutton sucks. But I'm tired of blaming defensive coordinators. I've been blaming defensive coordinators for 13 years now. We need Gunther. No, Gunther sucks. We need Greg Robinson. Greg Robinson sucks. Now we're laying Bob Sutton because he will not change his schemes. And I'm, I'm quite frankly, I'm sick of it. I'm ready for Patrick Mahomes, but it's not going to happen this year. We love you, Patrick. We know you're going to take the Chiefs to numerous Super Bowls, but it's not going to happen this year. So we'll just wait and see what we can get at Alex Smith when we trade him for a good draft pick next year. Hope it'll be number one draft pick. But we're going to enjoy our bye week because the Kansas City Chiefs got a three-game lead in the AFC West. Yeah! Your Kansas City Chiefs. Have a three-game lead at the bye. Man, is that awesome? We don't care if we got to hold our nose because it smells like one and done. It smells like one and done. We don't care. We're going to hold our breath. And we're going to celebrate this season because we're going to the playoffs this year. Yeah! Alex Smith, you're having a pretty good year. You had your first pick. This is your farewell tour in Kansas City. Maybe Matt Nagy can go to Cleveland and be their offensive coordinator, and we can trade you, and Matt Nagy can be the Browns head coach. Make Matt Nagy be the Browns coach, and we'll trade Alex Smith for a high draft pick. I'd take that in a heartbeat. Then we can uh, forget all the bullshit, man. The defense is old, way old. I love you, Justin Houston. You got to make some plays in the second half because the Chiefs are looking like a fourth or a fifth, third or fourth seed. Two weeks, still a short drive. Back to NFL football. I love you guys. The Kansas City Chiefs are cruising through the AFC West. Got problems we got to address until two weeks against the New York Giants. But before that, Join me and Nick Gillespie and Lance Twidwell next weekend for our Kansas City Chiefs roundtable bye week discussion as we talk about what moves the Kansas City Chiefs should make so we can get rid of this freaking one and done stench. We don't want to be one and done. We want to advance to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl in Kansas City this year. Everything else unacceptable until next week's Kansas City Chiefs bye week breakdown with Lance Twibble of the Spoken and my shaggy insider Nick Gillespie we'll see you next Sunday love you guys go Chiefs